and what is up we're back what's up people quick video today like i said keeping it short so this is what almost almost 600 days without smoking weed has taught me things i've learned from it maybe there's something you can take from it but this is my story in no way shape or form am i trying to tell anybody else what to do because i know there was a point where no one could tell me what to do so i wouldn't try to put that on another person but i know there are people out there who are could be on the same journey that i was two years ago a year and a half ago and that is it's about 598 days to be exact i stopped smoking on the 14th of june 2021 so just a bit of my backstory and the reason behind it because Everything that I talk about here is tied into manifestation one way or the other. And because of this one thing I manifested, it got me rethinking everything. And that was kind of the first step in the right direction to get me to actually stop smoking. So my background was young kid. I might have even been as young as 13 smoking weed. And I'm talking about four or five times a day over and over again that was my whole life that was my identity i used to have long dreadlocks as well i used to listen to reggae music just everything in terms of that culture and i was also one of those stubborn kids you know people would be like oh you're not going to be able to achieve anything in life if you're just smoking weed all the time and i was one of those guys who would always point out the extremes, you know, oh, but the CEO of this company smokes a joint every night and he still gets things done. He's a billionaire and this person and that person and Joe Rogan this and Joe Rogan that. So I was one of those guys. And so it was very hard to get through to me. That's it was very hard to get through to me. And so this is how it ties into the reason why I stopped. So there was one week I was having where I was smoking every day. I had like a lot of weed and I ended up, it was like the Thursday and I knew, oh wow, tonight I'm going to be finished with it. But for some reason that day I decided I'm not going to like look for weed. I'm not going to try to get money to buy weed. And I'm not going to ask anybody. I'm not also just going to go over to people's places and just know where the weed is and smoke with them. I was going to chill for that weekend and I was just going to leave it. And so, lo and behold, I finished all my weed. And it was the Friday. The Friday pass so was kind of like annoying because, you know, when you're smoking all the time and then you aren't. You, be, you do become moody, like, that's just how it naturally is. And so on the Saturday morning, I'm just hanging around, chilling at home, and my friend calls me up, and he would always stop at my place, and we would have a training session, because we both did MMA. So he would stop by, and we might have a little bit of a sparring session or whatever, and he stops by and we're sitting and we're talking and we, we would be able to talk for hours. We hung out for about two hours. We did some training. And then right at the end, as he's about to leave, I, so I say goodbye to him. And as I turn, he goes, oh, wait, check here. And he turns to his car and he opens it and he, he pulls out this bag of weed and he goes oh this is this is new stock i've got i want you to test it out for me and i got this and i was like what and it was like some really excellent stuff and he leaves and i, I go sit down and i look at this and i go like how is this even possible i didn't plan for this i didn't try get this i did absolutely nothing and this just manifested itself in my reality and all i really did i guess on the friday and maybe even the saturday morning was i thought about it you know i thought about smoking 
you know, you have these thoughts and it goes back to everything, putting yourself within that state of the wish fulfilled. So I was sitting there smoking in my head because I would smoke all different types of ways, bongs and this, and I would always have ideas of how to smoke in new ways and fashions, like through a, a vegetable, like a carrot or something, if I didn't have something else to smoke it in. So my mind was constantly saturated with ways to smoke. And then, boom, it's just in my hand. And this is what got me thinking about everything. Because I sat there and I went, hmm, if I'm able to do this with weed, what else am I able to do this with? Maybe I can do it with money. And I was thinking, imagine you could get to a, a point where money would just come flowing in and flowing in and you wouldn't even have to try. It's just, that's just a part of your norm, a part of your reality. And that started the journey where I, where I thought, hey, you know, if you close this door, other doors will open. You know, energy doesn't dissipate, it transfers, as they say. So that energy that created that weed, that moment, all the moments I've had of smoking and getting weed will be transferred to something else. And if you're really good at it, you can get something exactly that you want. And then so just some of the benefits that I experienced, because I mean, it's a long time, you know, almost 600 days, it's a long time to study yourself and to see, hey, you know, this is the difference. This is what I'm able to do now. This is what I'm able to do less. And essentially, more productive. I started this YouTube channel. I can't bring up the date right now. But I really dived into it after I stopped and in 2021 in about eight months I was able to upload about 260 videos I was doing a video a day on my cooking stuff very productive just going at it going at it I wasn't really distracted um, and that's what gets to this next point is that you're more able to stick with the plan because what I did realize is you would have great ideas when you smoked or when you didn't smoke. And then when you come down from being high, essentially what happens is you second guess what you originally thought about. Ah, you know what? Actually, that's not going to work. Or the opposite, vice versa, which is you you don't smoke get this idea wow this is great and then you smoke and then all of a sudden you start rethinking the idea no but this won't actually work here that none that's gone like these days i stick to a plan this is what i'm doing and i try execute it as best as i can here's another thing less anxiety and social anxiety so when i used to smoke i would hate going into public places with other people because I would kind of freeze up you know and start asking myself like why am I even here and even just anxiety in general I would smoke and then you know things are just too much and I'm like oh why did I smoke which never happened in the beginning it started happening happening more to the tail end I lost weight obviously because you, you, don't, you have less of the munchies and just the main one for me is the clarity of mind I'm very very clear in, in my mind I'm not overthinking things or thinking about things too less um, the mind energy action combination is incredible so that's just my story on it and this is why I'm able to tie this into my manifestation because it's if you really think about it, you really have to look at things in your life and see how they are serving you and if they are serving you and if they aren't serving you what else could you possibly replace it with so that was the video if you liked it give it a like share it with someone who maybe needs to see it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this i will leave the rest of my old videos up over here somewhere over here or you can hit this to like i mean to subscribe anyways have a good day peace